What's up guys? I'm going to do a 1510. Uh, just feel like I've barely woken up now. And it's in freezing as well. Right, the opponent is rated 1559. So, we may have a work cut out. Now, I have been rated 1559. I've been rated 1670. Okay, so we've got an Italian game. So I'm going to Russo Gambit. Got fairly good record here. Okay, and in response to the D3, we then go Lucchini. This is the second Lucchini we've had in two days, I think. This is the move you're looking for, really, but in my experience, it isn't played that often. We might have Knight here, and we might have Castles. Okay, there we go. Right, <clears throat> and this is the whole point now. Now we shut the door on the knight, so now the bishop no longer defends the knight. The queen attacks the knight, so the knight is now undefended. Now, white really has two options. Bishop f7 check, or knight f7 with a fork on queen and rook. And this is the one that you're hoping to see. Bishop f7 check is the better move. As it is in, like, the, you know, the fried liver, uh, if you play, what's, what's the, uh, the counter-attack that you play with your bishop here? I can't even remember. You see? Now, but here it gets interesting. Because there's an obvious threat. The, the immediate threat is queen takes f2 mate. And what do they do? If they push g6, um, I, castles here I don't think works. Now, I don't know the theory from this point. So I'm, I'm, I'm having to wing it now. Now, any point, obviously, you can take a rook, but that's not... You can't take it now. Okay, queen out. Now, the really tempting move is knight d4, hitting the queen and the c2 pawn. The queen has to defend f2, and there, if the knight comes here, also c2. But how does she do that? Right, because if the knight's here, she can't go to this square, because knight covers it. So I'm thinking, surely that's the move. I think this feels slow to try and bring my light square bishop out. It has to be knight d4. <sighs> and this is the beauty of playing rapid. You can actually afford the luxury of thought. Queen goes here or here. Just trade off, okay. So I'm going to ask the question, if I do this, what's the nastiest thing my opponent can do? Well, my opponent's going to be too worried about defence, I think. Could do queen here and try and trade. And then I can come in, or I can just trade queens and then come in and win the rook. But then he wins a rook. There is this move, I remember. To try and come in and cause trouble now. But, yeah... So we're kind of threatening the knight. He'll probably take the rook then. Yeah, because we're threatening to win the knight. So let's throw that in. Let's, let's see. And then, you know, afterwards we can have a look at the, the theory on this. Because it can go many ways from this point. But I think most of them are very, very dangerous for white. Now if he just takes my knight, I can recapture with the queen. And nothing's lost. I mean, we've actually got better development. We've got three pieces out. You know, centre's pretty equally distributed. If he takes the rook, I can come in with one of these knights. We're not worried about the rook. Knight here isn't that threatening. Knight here is, is more threatening. So then where's that queen going to go? Queen comes here, for example. Okay, right now. Um, if I take, H can't take, because I take the rook, okay? I take F takes. Is it H3? Queen h3. Let's say he takes rook. Let's say I come in. Queen can't go there or there. 
it's going to have to come back to d1 then I can come in here yeah I think like I say I'm not too sharp right now I do love these uh, okay these really sharp lines and I love learning about them as well so thinking knight in here now he's got one check with the queen one check with the bishop but neither really does anything okay he's had to come back there we knew this now queen here threatens the rook then I've got the potential of knight in there as well queen here if rook goes to f1 and check he's gonna have to move out to here then there's a perpetual on the cards I mean I'm a rook down right now I can take the g point here and I've also got a knight another knight that can come flying in as well this is starting to look interesting okay I've got a free pawn I've got a check but it's not decisive I mean king just moves forward to e2 if this knight comes in what happens checking e2 I'd love to get my light square bishop in fourth maybe I should do that attack or just d6 and then the bishop comes in <sighs> could be well here at least he loses castling right so let's I'm gonna throw this one in can always come back now that he's lost castling rights I've got two attackers on here but the king also defends now I've got this check but then rook takes oh hang on there rook takes queen takes f2 looks like checkmate to me rook here check sorry knight there check That's just too sexy not to not to have a go. I mean, this is really tempting. It looks like a hanging piece, but it ain't. Because the king has nowhere to run to, baby. Nowhere to hide. Got nowhere to run to, Sherry. Want to bring him a knight? I don't know if... The, ooh, ooh, ooh. Where are you going? Where are you off to, Sonny Jim? Um, I have check here to pawn blocks. Always got another check with the knight. Now the knight is actually hanging, so I, my next move has to be either moving the knight or giving check anyway. I feel like I've bollocks this up in some subtle manner. However, white may be a rook up, but is not exactly sitting comfortably, is he? If I stick my bishop in here, he can't go there or there, or there. He might push this. Well, he's in check now, okay, so where's he going to go? It's either that, he's in check from a knight, so he's got to move, right? That or that. I can't see him going to e2. I think emotionally he's just going to want to get that king the hell out of the way. But then if this now... The king is now forced out here, but that's the wrong side of the board from all my attacking stuff. I want to attack him. A5, A4. And my knight can come here then he can't go there or there quite like that as a start but still my queen's actually stuck right now um, I might just have to admit that my attack has petered out there and he comes out into the board 
but it takes away a useful square from a knight. How do I keep up the pressure? Here comes back. Hmm. Okay. So he's out of checking range of my pawn. <sighs> there could be ways to keep the pressure on. I mean, I'd love to get my bishop involved. <laughs> Loads of messages coming through today to say that uh, rugby matches are off because the ground's been frozen for two days. I'm meant to have a game this afternoon. Very unlikely that it's going to go ahead. Okay, that was a decent move from him. But he's still scurrying around the place. Like a frightened little mouse. Okay, <clears throat> this knight... He can't go there, but I mean, is this just silly or do I want to come like... Queen... I can't go there, I'd like to come here. What have I done wrong? Okay, I'm going to probably get castled, but... Hmm. Okay, free pawn. Don't see why not, might as well. Grab a bit of compensation on the way out. His knight in the corner is trapped, it has to be said. Oh. There? Hmm. Check he just takes. This isn't pretty, is it? No, my love, not pretty at all. Oh uh, no, guys, I don't know. I bugged it. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrap it. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have a look at the review. Yeah, it's plus five. Plus five or six or seven. Yeah, all the games are off today. Um, and I'm going to... <clears throat> let's pull up my studies. Black. Russo against Italian. Okay, so first of all, we'll wait for the review to complete and then find out where did I go wrong. I think I was all right, certainly up to the queen coming out here. But I know that are lines. So he played, I think, was it queen f3? Even stockfish is now stumped. So let's look at this and go Lucchini. I don't have a Lucchini queen c3, so let's just review the, the move. So we had, what was it? This is Russo declined Lucchini knight in. So it's knight g5, f4, knight in, queen h4, yeah? Lucchini castles. Knight g5 trap is, is the line. Okay, so here. Knight comes in, f4, yes. Knight comes in, yes. Queen there. If castles. Now, castles is one option here. Okay, so we've got castles, we've got g3 as an option. I don't think he played that. I think he played here, queen f3. And I don't have that. Okay, so... Yeah, he didn't castle. He played queen f3. And that is losing. So queen f3... Okay, queen f3 is a blunder. Why? 
Let's mark that as a blunder. Because of d5. <sighs> the most commonly played move here is knight d4, which I don't think I played. d5 and d6 are both very strong. Knight f6 is also very strong. Knight d4 is the most commonly played move, but second best by engine. It says d5, so let's go d5. And if bishop takes the free pawn, then black wins every time, because we play bishop g4. So bringing out the light squared bishop was the key. Now the king, the queen can't retreat there. It can't go there. Oh, it's a, it's a trap. The queen is actually trapped here. Yeah? G three, and we go queen h five according to the machine. And now their queen can escape to g two. And now we play knight d four. Wow. And this is this is just winning. So black is winning. Okay, so let's go over that again. Okay, Russo declined with d3. We play Lucchini with bishop c5. Knight comes in, we block the knight. Okay, knight comes in again. So let's see, knight f7 is being played 992 times. Bishop f7 check only 100 times. And it's still better for black. A lot better for black with 71 wins. Okay, so there, queen comes out and now. It's almost worth a chapter in itself, actually. So let me show you how to do that. So this is knight g5 trap. Okay, so I'm going to actually rename this one to knight g5 and what are the most common moves? Castles and g3 and then queen f3. Okay, so knight g5 trap. I'm going to rename this one to castles. Okay. And then I'm going to go add new chapter. Uh... What was it? G3. Okay. And here, import from declined. So import from the, the one that you're currently on. And it pulls in copies in the PGN. So now, um, okay, so now I have to go Lucchini. Just rearrange them because you know what we're like. Okay. So now I've got knight G5 and castles. Okay. So queen H4. I'm going to promote castles. And I'm going to get rid of g3. And I can get rid of queen f3. Actually. Okay, so that is the one move. And then we play, okay, knight f6 here. Yeah. <clears throat> now, knight g5 and g3. And now G3, you see, is, is the move. So we're going to promote G3. And then I'm going to remove castles. And I can actually remove Queen F3 as well. But what I'm going to do first, okay, I'm going to make another copy of the chapter. It's, a, it's slightly clunky. Queen F3, double question mark. And remember to click import. Okay, so I'm making another copy of that one. I'm just going to rearrange them. Okay. So here we go. Uh, so knight g5 g3. Okay, so now I can delete that one. And there we go. So that's one line all for its own chapter. And then for this one, queen f3, I promote that one and I delete the others. Okay, and there we go. So this is queen f3. So are we set to. No, it's set to normal analysis. If I change it to interactive less, I'm going to leave myself some notes here. So now, if queen three, this is a blunder, okay? Blunder. The key is to trap white's queen with bishop g4. And now you have to figure out what you're going to do. And here, the correct move is this, right? Um, and you can say here, like, d6 is also fine. 
but D5 is more um, forcing. It forces white to come up with something, okay? Um, so this is the tip for when a wrong move is played, okay? Then let's say they take, and now it's bishop g4. Hit it, okay? This is good. G3 pretty much has to be played here, but everything's kind of losing. And drop back to safety, yeah? So it's gonna be queen h5. Drop back to safety, play that. They will go here. And knight g to e7, say knight d4, knight d4 now. Right, knight in the center. And there we go, and this is now, this is just winning, okay? So now, if I want to practice this, I can go, okay, blah, yep. Yep, Russo, we know this. And now it's a signature move of the Lucchini. There we go. You can also get into the Lucchini via the Gioco Piano as well. Okay, knight here, so I know this move. All right, and now a queen here. And now here it says, you see on the, on the right-hand side, this is a blunder. The key is that, so I'm gonna go this. In fact, let's just go back. If I play a wrong move here, D6 is also fine, but D5 is more forcing. Retry. See, beautiful. This. That. Put more pressure on the queen. And then we go and attack, and we're attacking this. We're threatening this. We're threatening this, winning the rook. It's all very horrible. Okay? So there you go. There is the Lucchini. So while, while we're here, boys and girls, let's review our other lines while I've got you, your attention. Okay? So... The Italian game, very, very common at this level. So uh, what have I got this set to? I've got this set to, let's put, add in 1,600, 1,800, 2,000, okay? So this is around my level on Lee Chess. Bishop c4 played 43% of the time, but the Spanish Rui Lopez is only 26% of the time, right? If we change this over to 2,200s and 2,500s, Bishop b5 becomes the, the more common with 40%, whereas the Italian is only 33. So get used to playing against the Roy Lopez is, is the uh, is the answer there. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this back down to here. Okay, and we have the Italian and we play the uh, Russo and they decline and we come out and they castle, okay? And castling is good. It's saying knight c3, knight g5, and bishop e3 are all better. But castling is not bad whatsoever. So, so now I'm going to change this again to interactive lesson. And this means that you guys can come along and just hit preview and have a lesson. Okay. Uh, develop, not that. Helps if you've got your fingers on the right keys. Right. Develop normally. So, knight f6. Okay, most common move is actually bishop g5 here. Knight c3 is the better move. Okay. So that will be a line. We'll go knight c3. So this isn't fantastic. Um, then we push d6. Yeah, it's just normal. Yeah, and now what we're doing is we're coming after the bishop, right? So I'm going to leave a note. Key is to eliminate white's LSB, okay? So why do we want to do that? Well, we might want to castle short, get our rook behind the f-pawn. And currently we can't because this bishop is looking at the g8 square, where our king would want to go. So we've got this dark square pawn chain in the middle, this bishop can slice right through that with its laser vision. So coming here pretty much guarantees that we can get that bishop off the board. Okay, so we do that, they do say that, and we just take it. They take back, kick the knight, and this is all this is all fine. This is a very equal position. Okay, so you know you, you can learn that. Okay, let's quick look at uh, the other lines. 
This is the knight g5 castles. We we looked at that one. We look okay, g3. Knight g5 and g3. Okay, we come out. G3. Okay, now this is one that you will see quite often. So castles is most common at this level, then queen f3, which we know is a blunder, and now I've learned that. G3 is the best move by a long way for white with a 55% win rate. Everything else is better for black. So G3, and what do we do? Most common move is fg, and that's not right. Queen h3 is the only move here. Okay, so again, I'm going to switch it to interactive lesson, because I want to know this, I want to know this line. Okay, uh, queen infiltrates only move that retains equality. So we go in here. Um, most the computer says king d2 is the best move here, but I bet that's not. No, nobody plays that. Knight takes d8. Sorry, knight takes h8. But um, most common move but not fantastic, because we now, okay, hit the bish with d5 again. d5 is the engine move and the most played move, and it wins 75% of the time. That's 36 games out of 48. Okay, and, and this is now, this is a really good move, okay? I, I would even say that this is brilliant. We're gonna say it's a brilliant move feel good about that and they will play bishop takes oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear this is not good this is a blunder why is it a blunder well it's our old friend bishop g4 there you go bishop g4 simply winning um if the queen goes here so queen d2 is the most commonly played move but it's not good the queen should take the bishop wow queen should actually take the bishop here but she ain't gonna she's gonna do this and then she's gonna lose because now we have and the horse drawings in <clears throat> there we go in comes the horse uh, threatening a royal fork and bishop f7 check is the most commonly played move oh we just go nah King d7, king d8, don't really matter. And again, just winning. So, you know, that that's all you that's all you need to study. You never need to go, you know, any really deeper than this at this level. But yeah, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, they might also capture here. Yeah, king d8, king d7, doesn't really matter. And is that it? Let's just, yeah, we'll just re revise this queen of three check, just for giggles. Sorry, queen of three blunder. Uh, there, queen of three blunder. And I'm going to try and remember this. Okay. It's the knight in straight away, isn't it? No, it's not. No, that's right. Okay, so the key is this. The key is this. Right, then they take, and then we have this, that, and we just drop back. And there have been a few games, only four games played from this position in that. But there we go, you know. Huge difference between playing a game, losing, and playing again, and very likely losing in a similar way, to playing a game, losing, and learning from the loss, okay? One way you come out stronger player, the other way you just come out with one extra game of experience. So, uh, yeah, there really is no no substitute for for learning your lines. You know, I mean, how many how many white players, right, are going to come across it? So let's 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 check it out. Okay, so <clears throat> so e four players. Okay, two hundred and twenty one million games. Okay, they'll meet this a lot of the time. They'll get this a lot of the time. They'll play the Italian. Okay, so they're an Italian player. So when you're an Italian player, okay, so here we have 15 and a half million games. Okay, 
15 and a half million Italians, right? And how often do they see porn to F5? Less than a quarter of a million, 1.4% of the time, okay? So already, right, they're in one hundredth of their experience as an Italian player. And of course, they've got to deal with all the other openings, okay? So already here, more commonly, they will capture, which is better for black, because we push on and with tempo. D3 is the second most common move. Okay, so after D3, the most common moves are actually knight to F6 and bishop to C5, right? But then F4. So how many F4s are they going to see? 9,000 out of millions. So I can guarantee you that a player with the white pieces, if they've seen this position ever, they may have seen it once or twice, right? If at all, but most likely they won't have ever have seen it, okay? Now, if you've studied this position, so we now know what to do, you know, when the knight comes in, for example, okay? And that, and that is actually a blunder. That is actually a blunder already for, for black. Um, yeah. So hang on. No, because I've I've done something wrong here. Yeah, I apologise. It's the, uh, <laughs> the the Lucchini here with forgot to bring my bishop out, didn't I? Yeah. And now you push it. So it would have been a blunder, obviously. Yeah. Um, so you know, if you know what to do from this position, um, because it's what you always play against the Italian, you'll be better off than your opponent. So there you go. Happy learning, everyone. Thanks for watching, and see you later.